Okay, in three, two, one. All right, guys. It's go time once again. We are back with another podcast. Me and my buddy Joe here are going to be talking about some interesting things today. What's going on in the world? Um, Who knows? (laughs) <laughs> who knows? Who knows anymore? What's going on in the world anymore? Some fucked up shit going on, but you know what? I'm not going to get into the you know the fucked up yeah, shit because that's that's on, on, here on this podcast we don't go there. Yeah, we don't really go there because that's not what our channel is about. We're not going to fucking drift off like that. Yeah, um, we're about having a good time here, people. Right. We're about the movies, video games, and wrestling, and uh, yeah, let's get it on. Well, uh, first of all, I guess I, we could start off with, uh, I was thinking about starting off with TV shows. And, that was good. And I was wondering, what are some of your favorite TV shows that you like to watch? I know you like The Walking Dead. Yeah, I like The Walking Dead. I like Sons of Anarchy. Uh, Sons of, yeah, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, Z Nation. uh I've watched a couple seasons of Fear the Walking Dead, which I don't care for that shit. Yeah, I don't watch that show. Fuck that show. Yeah. I, I, liked, I liked Fear the Walking Dead up until season four, and then they just basically were killing off all the original people. Right. It was like, yeah, fuck this show. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they come off a lot of... TV shows every year. The one thing that that's really, I think, pissing off a lot of Walking Dead fans is they never l- released the last episode of this no, last season. That, not as of this time. I mean, they're not saying anything, but hell, dude, there's not even probably gonna, even going to be a Walking Dead this year because it's like hell. They usually start the right. season off in October. Well. We're in August. We're almost in August. So. Yeah, and they haven't even released the last episode of the uh, yeah last season, or I should say this season or whatever. Uh, or no, yeah. last season, I guess you could say, because it did start last year, but then it went into this year. Do you know what, dude? The Walking Dead is now has over 10 seasons. Right. I don't see it go- keep going on much longer. I don't know. Um, I don't know, I mean, this past season, though, I mean, they did some cool stuff, and, but, I mean, it's just, like, when they got rid of Rick and Carl and all of them, it's just, like, I don't know, it's just not the same show. Well, yeah, you get rid of most of your fucking main stars of the show over the seasons, yeah. and you, you pretty much got something completely almost, you know, different in a way, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the only two the only two originals who are left on the show now is Carol and Daryl. Right. I haven't even watched. I I've seen I think up until season six. I think. Yeah. Um, I don't that's know. Kind I, of like, that, that, that's where a lot of people thought that that's where it kind of ended for them when they you know when they introduced Negan and they killed off you know Glenn and Abraham and all that bullshit that a lot of the Walking Dead fans were just basically like, you know what? This is not even a cool show anymore because it's like, you know, it started off being people against zombies. Now it's all about people against people. Right. And like the zombies are like fucking secondary. Right. And everybody's like, you know, crazy f- yeah. you know, f- fuckers, then they, man. And they bring in people who you think they're going to be long-term you know, people that are probably going to be on a show for years, and and they'll get killed off in like three or four episodes. Right. <laughs> they did that. Uh, Thinks in season nine with this uh, kid named Henry that he was supposed to be the next like Carl and you know, like become the leader or whatever. And they focused a lot of attention on him for like three se- for like three episodes. Then the, then the fourth episode's revealed he's one of the heads on the damn pikes. <laughs> yeah, like, <it's> crazy. really? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it gets, you know, some twists and turns. The writers yeah. are pretty good for the Walking Dead, you know, season. I give them that. 
I watch a lot of the, you know, people's reaction videos on YouTube and, right. you know, I've always looked up, watched a lot of people's reactions to the Pike scene and when it's revealed that, that Henry's on, head is on the Pike, like, people were just like freaking out, like screaming. I remember one guy was yelling like, he's like, no, he's like, he's like, they didn't just kill off Henry after all that. After all of that development. <laughs> yeah, they just fucking killing people, man. Yeah. Hell, they, had, they brought in, um, I don't know if you know, uh, Thor Birch. Right, yeah. They, they brought her in for like a couple episodes and had her start off being a bad guy. Then a couple episodes later, she's a good, you know, she joined, you know, the good guys. And then like one episode later, it's like she gets killed. Yeah, it's like, why the fuck did you even bring her in, you know? Mm -hmm. If you're just going to pull that shit. Yeah, I mean, anybody else is one thing, but when you get a, you know, a well-known, already a celebrity to appear, and, and you only have them on the show for a couple episodes, like, oh, okay, she's dead. <laughs> right. She'll, 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 and she'll probably never be, ever be mentioned in The Walking Dead ever again. Yep, Thor Birch. Um, she was in a what was a Limp Biscuit uh, music video for years ago. It was a really? pretty, yeah. Uh, I forgot uh, the name uh, of the song, but it was a pretty cool. I, he had her like sit in a chair, all tied up, you know, and he was singing to her and shit. I thought that was uh, pretty cool. Well, I've, I've, I've never, I've never seen that video. I might have yeah. to watch that later on. Look it up. It's from the early 2000s. Damn. Yeah. And, uh, I know she played in a lot of movies, too. Like, she did American Beauty. She was in Ghost oh, World. Right. American Beauty was a really good movie. Yeah. I really liked that film. I thought it was uh, very well done. I think it actually won some Oscars and all that shit. Yeah. You know, uh, very well done. Every now and then, man, a good, a really good movie like that will come around. Oh yeah, you know. I liked, uh, I liked how Kevin Spacey was in that movie. How like he was the hard working man, you know, took care of his, and then he just had like that all uh, was that middle age thing where he's like, I want, I want to relive my youth. I want to go back to working at a right. burger place and right. driving a driving a Pontiac Firebird. Right. He started working <laughs> out and smoking weed. And <laughs> yeah. It was funny. And, and I, and I remember because he was getting the weed from that one guy, the, the dad thought that they were doing, you know, like gay shit or whatever. And he's like, that's why he wound up killing him at the end. He's like, my son is not doing good. <laughs> He's messing around with this guy. Right. I can't have that. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and and that actually never even happened. He was just selling them weed. Yeah, there was a, because what it was there there was a there was a scene where the you know the guy is looking at him through the window and they're both sitting on like a couch or whatever, and you, you like you know you you hear him talking like you know the guy is gonna bother bust out a joint he's like yeah man bust that joint out and from the window it looks like the guy was going down on him <laughs> right. and, 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 and the dad's looking at like you know looking up like what the hell <laughs> you right, know? right. <laughs> fucking yeah it's a good movie with some twist and churn yeah and I, yeah I always I liked that one great in that movie too yeah, and, that, and there was that, that one girl from American Pie movies that was in it. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I forgot her name, dude. I forgot. Oh, I 100% sure. forgot her name, but she was the blonde-headed girl. Yeah, and I know I know exactly who you're talking about. It's weird, like... And I don't... Normally, I don't see uh, her in movies anymore, either. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me look her up online so I can remember <laughs> her name. But yeah, the yeah, uh, I remember when that one for me not to remember somebody's name. Right. I remember when American Pie came out. It was pretty successful at the uh, theaters. Yeah. Same thing with the second movie. You know, it was uh, pretty big back then. Yeah. Let's I remember. See. Uh, oh me yeah. Okay. And, uh, me, me and my cousins went and seen. Uh, 
the American Pie 2 at the theater and I okay. thought, thought that movie was pretty funny. So the girl we were talking about that's in American Beauty is Mina Savari. Yeah, Mina Savari. And I'm also looking at the uh, budget of the uh, first American Pie movie. It was eleven million dollar budget, and guess how much it made at the box office? About two hundred million. Yeah, two hundred and thirty-five million dollars. Yeah, talk about a big profit. With that kind of money, dude, you would never have to worry about anything ever again. Yeah, I mean that's a hell of a profit. No wonder why they, you know, it made sequels and all that shit. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd spend eleven million to get back two hundred thirty-five million any day of the week. Right, and the star of the movie was Jason Biggs. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him in uh, movies too much anymore. A lot, a lot of people in that movie you don't see really. Right. Okay. So the second movie, the budget was a, a little bit bigger. Oh, well, quite a bit bigger. It was thirty million dollar budget, but it made even more money. Two hundred and eighty-seven million dollars. Yeah, between two movies, dude, that's that's over five hundred million dollars. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty good. Then they had the American Wedding, which uh, yeah, made two hundred thirty. I watched it. I watched it. The, the, that one and the was it the um, there was another. One to follow up. Yeah, I think uh, American uh, Reunion. Yeah, American Reunion. Yeah, I never watched any of those other na- American Pie movies. Oh Anyone yeah, called like the Naked Mile and right those uh, those nah. uh, yeah those other low budget ones. Yeah, that were uh, yeah yeah no, nah, I haven't watched those either. Uh, the, the, the main reason I will not watch the I think it was the Naked Mile. I will not watch that one because I watched the trailer of it and there's a scene where they have like this gun with like this cap, big old capsule of, of what they're saying is like horse semen and, and they're basically <laughs> playing Russian roulette with it but putting it in their mouths. Oh, uh, fuck that. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I will not be watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. That sounds pretty fucked up. Yeah, that is fucked up, dude. But, but, you know... Sorry, that's for me. (laughs) But, you know, besides those side movies, the American wedding movies, and, you know, with the main cast, always made money. Yeah. You know, um, American Wedding, American Pie 2, an American Reunion, yeah. I don't even think I've seen American Reunion yet. I need to pick... Actually, I need to pick those up on either DVD or Blu-ray. Maybe they got like a Blu-ray, you know, box set or something like that out there. I, I know I've seen uh, like a box set of like American Pie, American Pie 2, and uh, American Wedding, but right. I don't know if they had um, one with the American Reunion. Well, I could look up um, online right now and take a look. But yeah, those are good movies. I like those. I like Jason Biggs. He's pretty funny. He was, uh, according to his Wikipedia, he was in the... uh, uh, I know he was in a movie called Saving Silverman. Right. He's also in uh, the... That was kind of retarded. He had a cameo, of course, in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And then the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, which I haven't seen yet. I want to see the Jay and Silent Bob reboot. You know. Yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it either. I, I like the the Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back movie. That, right. That was pretty. Uh, that, that was a fantastic movie. I loved watching. I remember when it came out. I got the double disc DVD, the collector's edition, and then like a dumbass at some point down the road when I was selling off a bunch of my DVDs um, years ago. That was one of them I got rid of, and then I thought about them like, why the fuck? Did I get rid of that? And then I was, <laughs> then I was like, oh yeah, I want to get the Blu-ray. But then I was looking at the Blu-ray, the 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 special features that are on the DVD 
are not on the Blu-ray. Are not on the fucking Blu-ray. And I'm like, damn it. I want So now I got to go after both. I, got, I want the Blu-ray and I want the fucking DVD again because so that I can get all the special that, features. That's why, you always, that's why you always do your research, bro. Ain't I mean, that some shit? Like, make, sure, make sure all the special features are the same on the Blu-ray. It is on the DVD. Yeah, but sometimes they've done that, just like the uh, Rob Zombie uh, Three from Hell, or not Three from Hell. What was the one before that? Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects. They had, you know, like this collector's edition that had the Thirty Days of Hell making of that's on the DVD, but it's not on the fucking Blu-ray. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? That you is know, crazy. That is kind of stupid. You know, it's like why, why the fuck are you assholes? you know, putting these special features on the DVDs, but not in the fucking Blu-rays, man, back in the day. You know, Who knows? That's why I've always said I'd just rather go with just the regular DVDs, man. Right. I mean, I, I mean don't get me wrong, I've got, you know, I've got a few, a few Blu-rays in my collection, but I, I get them because of the Blu-ray DVD combos. Right. Like Three from Hell, um, the two the last two Ninja Turtles movies they made. You know, I think I don't even know. I got I got so many movies. I don't even know what I got anymore. Yeah, what the fuck do you got, Holmes? Yeah, that's I don't know. <laughs> so I'm looking up online now, and they do have a American Pie movie collection with you know that has uh, strictly. The you know original cast, American Pie, American Pie Two, and American Wedding and American Reunion, the four movie collection, unrated, and it also includes the theatrical versions and and like a little box set there, which is really cool for this set yeah. I, on DVD and Blu-ray. Which you know what, I am definitely going to be going after. Heck yeah! If I ever run across two, I'll. Uh... I'll pick it up too if right. I can find it. What's nice about this, it doesn't have any of those fucking side movies, those low budget no, type yeah, fucking. Yeah, that, you know, that that I don't care for. You know what I mean? No, I, I wouldn't care for it either. Like I said, because I'm those trailer look, for that naked mile, and I'm just like, right. yeah, those, I'm not interested. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have all of the original cast, and you, I'm not, you know, they may be alright, but I don't know. I, I just, I'd rather just stick with. You know, it's like, you the remember, original um, shit. You remember that uh, movie called Van Wilder? Yes. And well, they, you know, they made a sequel. Right. To that, and I, I've never watched the, the sequel of that because, you know, like it was like, it was, it was a fucking sequel slash prequel. No, like, I, I don't you know, think it was a prequel. I thought it showed him as like, his, like younger, like when he first, like, his rise, or that was no, that was the other guy. That was Raj or whatever. The rise of the Taj. Rise, so, yeah, the rise they of just, Raj. They, I thought they, they did like a backstory where they showed him were like, you know, a young man. No, Raj. no, I don't think that was that wasn't a sequel. That was, I mean, that wasn't a prequel. That was, I believe, a sequel because they were just My showing God. they were just showing like his story and they didn't bring back in um what's his face from the Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds and there yeah. was no Terry Reed or nothing so uh just just that one guy which I completely for forgot his name but he was also in the uh you know the White Castle movies you know? I loved Harold and Camargo to White right. Castle those fucking movies are great man <laughs> I haven't seen the third one though um have you? I, I, I have I have the whole like triple pack of them I picked up a while back. Right, and uh, how's the third film? It's it's pretty damn funny. I need to get you see. I, I, that's I, I, I don't think I don't think it's as funny as White Cat of uh, Go to White Castle. But yeah, Harold and Kamara. I like yeah, the I second one up. too. I love the part in the second one where they find the president and the, and he gets all fucking high and shit. And he's, like, yeah, and uh, he's like, yeah, I laced it <laughs> with cocaine. <laughs> he's like, I, I laced it with, yeah, cocaine or blow or some shit. And the one guy's like, fuck. And, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he's like, oh, shit, we're going to be screwed. <laughs> right. And he's like, uh, he's like, 
the president's telling him something. He's like, and then he's like, shut the fuck up and smoke my weed. Yeah, he's like, he's like. He's like, do you like getting the hand jobs? Yeah. yeah. Do you like giving the hand jobs? No. Uh, well, there you go. Now shut the fuck up. Yeah, he's like, oh, that's probably. that's hypocrit- <laughs> hi- hi- hypocritical or some shit like that. And he's like, now shut the fuck up and smoke my weed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, you yeah. know, that is fucking comedy right there. Yeah. I really like the White Castle one, though. I mean, it was just funny yeah. as hell how they're like, they would not settle for any other kind of fucking food. It's like they were just hell bent on, like, we're not going to eat nothing else. All we're going to eat is White Castle. Yeah, they were just the so. Is them trying to find a fucking White Castle. Right. They were uh, so fucking determined. <laughs> you know? To get the fucking White Castle burger, which they are pretty fucking good. I haven't yeah. had White Castle in forever, but um, I, I haven't either, man. I don't, I don't think, we, yeah, we don't even have one down here. Right, but I we fucking have, uh, we have, we have we have crystals down here, which is basically like White Castle, but not really like White Castle. Oh, okay, yeah. That's cool. But, That's cool. But yeah, I, I need to uh, I need to get those films as well on Blu-ray, which I think they do have a triple pack of those. Yeah. Which I need to I get. Have, like I said, I have the triple pack of DVDs of them. I don't. Right. I think they do have the Blu-rays. Oh yeah, <laughs> they do. I'm I'm yeah. sure of that. I've I've seen it before. So I mean, those are just fantastic comedy movies. Yeah. You know, back in the. Uh, early 2000s there um i loved uh van wilder by the way that movie is really yeah. good I, there's some parts in that were so fucking funny except, you, except you know. for the dog that uh oh yeah uh. <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah i know what you're talking about where they fucking the special donuts that they made <laughs> yeah it's fucked up i mean those yeah some of those films can get pretty fucking out there man yeah, <laughs> but Van Wilder was great. That's a film that don't yeah. get talked about that much, you know. With uh, Ryan Reynolds, that who was uh, before he was like big time, he was in that film. Yeah, and it was it was fucking good. There was also another film that Ryan Reynolds was in where he was uh, a waiter. Waiting. Waiting. Yes. What a fucking I, I great movie. Great. Great funny ass oh, movie dude. hell yeah dude you want to talk about a funny fucking movie go see waiting and even the yeah. second one was decent but nowhere near as good as the first one no 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 no, no. there was some funny moments in the second one but without the main cast there yeah it just was the flavor wasn't there but that first one holy moly was that fucking my, good my, my favorite my favorite character in waiting was the chick that was always like angry uh, uh, was, yeah the one that was always angry and right. pissed off but then when she'd go out <laughs> right. and start like hi how y'all doing right. <laughs> you know <laughs> I like the what's his name those two two actors uh, I want to say T-Dog and somebody else they, they oh shit uh, they were like yeah, rappers. Ra- that, like want to be rappers and type shit. They were funny as hell too. Nick, yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick and T Dog. Yeah, right. Uh, Andy Melanakis, I think his name yeah. is. <laughs> Fucking funny, man. Remember the the one they were ha- he was having a dream where there was like a fire in the bottom. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nicholas, Theodore, Calvin, help me! And they go and they're grabbing a bucket of water. Right. And they grab a can of gasoline. Like, I said, my name is fucking T Dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were making it worse. That was fucking trippy, funny. Even at the end with that music video with Andy Milanakis uh, doing that song was fucking great. It was hilarious. Yeah. You mean you want to talk about some awesome writing and good comedy? I mean, there you go. Yeah, remember the part where they they were getting ready to close, and all the cooks in the back are like, we "Better not have no late timers coming in here." Like five minutes before they close, they get a couple coming in and ordering like a steak and chicken, and the guy's grilling up. And he picks the steak up, and he just like, "Oops, he dropped it on the floor." Wow. 
And yeah, he's like, with the chin, like, oh, I'm just, I'm just Mr. Butterfingers tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, oops, that's the five second rule or the te- ten second rule yeah, or something like, like that. He's like, man, I almost had, we, we almost had to switch to the ten second rule. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. What was it? I love the He's part. Crazy I love fuck. the part where he makes me laugh my ass off every time when the guys in the back giving the whole crew like a pep talk, like, "Yeah, let's go out there, let's get it done." And you hear the one guy like, "Yeah, if it's dirt deep, no, it's God, I can't wait to quit this job." Oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, I, and also um, another funny comedy for those who want to laugh their ass off go check out a movie called road trip oh yeah <laughs> yeah with uh, amy smart uh sean william scott hell even tom green's in that bitch yeah you know that was a really cool movie i love that film that was that was, that actually was pretty cool like, the, that the best you know? part, we're going to get into the best part of that film where i literally one night could not stop yeah, laughing. Oh yeah, dude. You remember remember that night? Like year, this was years and years ago. I want to oh, say yeah. so, we summer. Were there. We, we were just in the mood for a good laugh. Right. We we saw this part from Road Trip. Right. And for some reason, it was just so funny to us that we had to keep rewinding, right. watching yeah. it again, rewind it every time. I, we must have rewound it and watched that scene probably 25 yeah, fucking times. For, for some odd reason, it just struck a funny nerve in me, and I literally could not stop fucking laughing. Yeah. And it's and, the and part... The, the funny thing about it, we weren't even on... We, we weren't on drugs or <laughs> right. drinking or nothing. We, we were just in the mood for a fucking laugh. Right. Like, it, for some odd reason, this shit was fucking hilarious right it's it's the part where the one kid was giving the old man some fucking a weed just, yeah they just, were sitting there smoking a joint and the, right. and the dog was standing there and he's blowing the smoke at the dog and the dog looks at him at one point and he's like hey, like, hey old man I got the fucking munchies real bad right how right. about you <laughs> and that look <laughs> That he gives him, like, what the fuck? He looks at the fucking dog like, what the fuck? And he looks at his the weed he was smoking. He was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And I don't know why. That just, back then, when I first watched it, just struck a, like this funny nerve in me. And I literally yeah. just could it not stop like, it, laughing. It, it, was, it, it was just one of them out of the blue... Like moments. funny moments in the movie, like right. the dog, the dog saying that, and the look on the old man's face, like what the fuck? <laughs> you <Right>. know? <laughs> that was fucking drop dead funny to me yeah. back then. They did, they did another scene, like like the next day where everybody was leaving, and he looks at the dog, and the dog tells him, he's like, "Hey Jack, have that bitch make me some blueberry pancakes." Right. right now and the old man's like what the fuck I'm out of here <laughs> alright yeah that's a fantastic film that's fucking yeah. hilarious I love that film yeah. I don't really see a lot of those uh, actors anymore you know yeah but that was a you fantastic know, movie see, I, I don't I haven't really seen Amy Smart in a movie in a long time yeah I don't she was in some um, let me see I'm gonna look her up she was in some good funny films. Yeah, she did a road trip. She was in Rat Race. She was in the, the Butterfly Effect. And the Butterfly Effect was a fantastic movie. Yeah, you want to talk about yeah, a fucking movie that was well written? Whoa! It was. It was one of them just like crazy movies, and like how the guy could go back and like go back to certain moments of his life to try to change things and right every time he goes back he just makes shit worse right or something yeah. else happens where it gets worse from a different angle um, yeah. oh yeah that's right I forgot she was in um, uh, the Crank movies oh yeah and you know what another movie she did one of her probably first movies she ever did was uh, Strangeland well, let's see. Well, no, she did some films before that, but yeah, Strangeland was a good film. I like that. With that, that was crazy. With, uh, with Snyder. D. Snyder, right? 
I mean, just grabbing up those people. And she was also in uh, Starship Troopers, which was a really good film. Yeah. A great yeah. director. Uh, Varsity yeah. Blues. Oh, yeah, I forgot she was in... Dude, Varsity Blues was fucking great. Yeah, I need to pick that film up on DVD or Blu-ray. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. That I was, was good matter one. of fact, I, I was just watching a scene from Varsity Blues they have up on YouTube. It's the part where the, the one big guy, Billy Bob, he, he was pissed off because he thought that he had caused Paul Walker to get seriously hurt, was blamed by the coach and all that, so... He's basically sitting in the back of his truck, had a bottle of whiskey and a shotgun. Right. And, they, and one guy comes up to him, he's like, what the hell are you doing? And he's like grabbing his trophies. He's like, like chimp. He's like, um, this was uh, this one's for most approved player at Lyman camp. Mm -hmm. I was 11. And he just throws it down and like grabs his shotgun and fucking shoots it. And he grabs another one saying, like, this is a um, championship trophy, you know, when we were nine. Remember this shit? Playing Pee Wee? He's like, yeah. He's like, it was fun. The guy's like, no, it wasn't. I remember getting yelled at, and he throws, he's like, you're too fat, Billy Bob. Damn. Too slow and dumb. Damn. It was a it was a really touching scene. Like you know, you you're thinking it's getting to the point where he's about to damn blow his brains out, and his and his buddies just tell him like, "Look, man, come on, we got one game left." He's like, "And we need you." He's like, "I right. need you." He's like, "Who the fuck's gonna protect my ass?" Yeah, and that kid, the guy, actually ended up losing weight in real life. Yeah, and then he then he wound up dying. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that was fucking sad. Yeah, you know but that that guy who played Billy Bob, though. I mean, you know, he was a he was funny as hell in Varsity Blues, and right. they even uh, put him in that uh, not another teen movie where he was basically spoofing him his own damn self. Right, I haven't seen that one in a while, but that was another pretty good, you know, comedy as yeah. well, and another comedy with. Um, uh, Amy Smart and Ryan Reynolds that people need to check out because nobody really talks about it is a film called Just Friends. Yeah, yeah. Just Friends. It's, it's I remember fantastic. watching that movie years ago. Right. And there, the, the, the ending of the movie makes me laugh my ass off every time where the three kids are watching Ryan Reynolds and Amy Smart kiss and it's like they're, they're sitting there and they're like he's like oh my god Suckster's making out with Mrs. P what is she thinking and like the goofy kid pulls out a cookie and goes Sarah you want my last cookie oh thank you Brett and she turns to the other and goes hey Joey you want some of my cookies she's like don't mind if I do and she looks, he passed the white kid in the back and goes you're such a good friend Brett and he's like the best and he looks at the camera and smiles and goes you know go Oh shit! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just gotta put the fence on, bro. Yeah, he just realized, like, no. And, and I'll tell you Not who. I'll tell you who was really funny in the movie Just Friends is that Anna Ferris. Man, she was mm -hmm. really out there in this film. She, yeah. she was. That was probably her kookiest role <laughs> I've ever seen her in. Yeah, right. I mean, right. the movie was I mean, really good. She was good. just like, I don't know. I mean, she was. I mean, her playing is just that dim witted, stupid ass. Right. She was just really out there, man. Like, crazy yeah. fucking person who really wanted to be with the Ryan Reynolds guy. And Yeah. I mean, it, 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 but it was funny, dude. You want to talk about a funny, cool movie? Yeah, Just Friends was pretty good. I mean, yeah. uh. What else? We were just talking about that one uh, comedy not too long ago um, about video games and shit. Oh, uh, you talking about Grandma's Boy? Grandma's Boy. That is a classic. One of the movie. greatest, funniest movies. Oh yeah. Of all I remember when that first came out. I absolutely loved that yeah. film. I remember even before you guys seen it. I was like, you and I took 
you and our buddy Butch to, uh, had you guys come on over. I'm like, okay, I, I'm going to have these guys watch this shit. They're going to fucking trip out. At Dude, this. You, know what you, you know what? Back then, you know, that, that would have made a, like, if you would have had, had the ca uh, camera back then. Right. Well, you would have thought about, like, man, I, I should film their, like, reaction. Right. I wish yeah. I would have. Trust me. Now, thinking back, I wish I would have had, I wish I would have set the whole thing up to where, I had the, my camera on you guys and have you guys do a reaction video to the party scene yeah, where the and, what's his name Jonah Hill came up. We were, we were just like, what the fuck? Yeah, the <laughs> part, when that part where Jonah Hill started sucking on those on that girl's tits, I, I yeah, knew you guys were like, gonna trip baby out. Does baby want milk? Does baby <laughs> <like> <laughs> right. milk? I, I know. I knew you guys were gonna trip out during that scene because when I first seen it, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you know, I mean, that, that, was, that was like a, one of those scenes, like just, just out there, like this hot ass, <laughs> big ass, big girl, right? Just goes up to Jonah Hill and just drops, drops her top right in front of her. <laughs> right. <and laughs> the baby white milk. I remember it's it was like, funny the next day they were talking about back at work. He was like, he's like, uh, so and so here sucked on his first boomy hip. For eight hours. Right. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a trip, dude. That, that's trippy shit, man. Yeah. That was funny. Like, what a great film. I like, the, I like the beginning of the movie because I always thought, looked at the two guys in the beginning and thought of them as me and you sitting there playing a fucking boxing game and, and he's the one guy's beating the shit out of the other guy and, and the guy's like, fuck, stop hitting me. Like, this is like a Tyson fought an instant. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And that's the scene where uh, Kevin Nash. It, yeah, he tricks the guy into be like, hey, let me get a bong hit for round two. He goes, to, he's like, hey, why is the tension diverted? He unplugs the fucking controller. Right. And starts round two. And he has like, hey, hey, I smell the bong. Stop. <laughs> yeah, and he beat the fuck out of him in the game. And then. Uh, he's like, you cheated, you dick. He's like, ah. Oh. The bong water reeks. He's like, yeah, maybe if you cleaned it every now and then, it wouldn't smell like your girlfriend's ass. Yeah. <laughs> now that's funny, man. And then that's when uh, Kevin Nash and that other guy was like, uh, he's like, hey, how you guys doing? Yeah, sir. So, um, who are you, and why are you in my kitchen? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, your landlord sent me. Yeah, you know, he's like, like uh, that. And then uh, I like when Rob Schneider comes. He's like. This is fucking bullshit. It smells like Cypress Hill concert in here. <laughs> I don't run into those kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> fucking fantastic movie, man. He tells me, he's like, I'll give you five minutes to pack up all your shit that you don't want thrown out. And if you take one minute longer, I have my two friends over there. They will pull out your, what is it? He's like, they pull, out they your, pull testicles. your testicles out. Your right. Anus. right. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. What was the name of the fucking game that the lead actor was working on? I forgot. Oh man. Um, but I know at one point that game was actually really in development, and then it got canceled. Yeah. Uh, oh, for, I, I forgot the I name of it. I haven't seen the movie in so long, I can't even remember. Let me look it up. I'm gonna look it up all mine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, remember the guy. The guy stole the game from him, and then they found out that they had the grandma go and challenge him to a game because the grandma had been playing the game and knew all right. the tricks. And so that movie came out in two thousand and six, um, and yeah, that's a fantastic. Fi it, you know what? That film never got a fucking Blu-ray release. Damn it. Really? Yeah, swear to God, it never got. I thought, a I, I thought I've seen it before on Blu-ray no. somewhere. I thought I saw it at Walmart or something. No, nope. Home Media it says uh, the film was released on DVD in 2006. The theatrical and the unrated versions. There's never been a Blu-ray release, and then that's too bad. That really needs a Blu-ray release. I think. Yeah. I would love I, if it did. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Boy is one of the funniest movies. Oh yeah. Uh, you you want so many funny scenes. Plus, plus they don't make movies about video games. You know, uh, yeah. it's rare. 
you know, just kind of like the wrestler. They don't make movies about wrestling. You know, it's yeah. it's rare when they do. You know, and this movie was so fucking good. Um, well, let's see. Um, starring uh, Alan Covert. Um, I forget. It's not saying the name of that one game, but yeah, um, he was working on a yeah. game on a game, and then that one asshole took it. Yeah, so that he would tell me, he's like, he's like, I could do some of the graphics or something for you, and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And, and then, like, they get in, they were really working on another game, and they think they were going to a meeting about that, and then they, they dropped that. He's like, wait a minute, that's my game. Right. No, seriously, that's my game, you know? I think it was called, uh, their game, Demonic. Demonic, yeah, yeah. demonic. Demonic, okay, yeah, it says right here, production. Game developer Terminal Reality was involved in the film's production, lending footage to, to promote their game, Demonic. Although the game was canceled before the film's release, the footage remained in the final cut. So, yeah. and that happens a lot. A lot of times, you know, films, they'll get, or games, they get, you know, somewhat made or sometimes fully made but they are never released you know they get canceled and that was definitely one of them demonic yeah for the xbox demonic. yeah uh, what, did he, what did he say to the guy when he was caught he was arguing about with the guy about the game he said something he's like i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna kick that fat ass head of yours off that skinny little body <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'd have to watch the scene again to, yeah. you know. But also, David Spade had a small part in that. Oh, yeah, yeah. when they went to that damn uh, wheatgrass uh, restaurant or whatever. Right. It's yeah. Shiloh. <laughs> yeah, that's a, what a fantastic movie. Holy oh, shit, yeah. man. Back, back in the good old days, comedy days. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, there's nothing, there nothing better funnier to watch but a stoner movie about video games right I mean it, yeah it doesn't get any better than that people you know yeah it just doesn't that's the, that's, that's the best of both worlds you know and speaking of uh, David Spade one of I think one of his best movies of all time is Joe Dirt oh yeah I fucking love that film Not now I haven't seen the second one and I heard it fucking sucked ass you know what I've seen the second one yeah, it fucking sucked the dick. <laughs> That's what everybody's saying, you know. I mean, I mean, I mean, nothing against you know David Spade or even the Brittany Daniel because they, you know, they did give a good role in there. But right. just the way they did the movie, like having Joe Dirt like go back and like, like basically like, like, like time traveled to the fucking past. And like shit got it. He's seen what his life would have been like if he never had met, you know, Brandy. Right. And, you know, basically at the end, it turns out all to be a dream, but then yet he finds a spot where he had buried a fucking box of comic books that would have later been, you know, been worth a shitload of money. Oh, yeah. And he was saying that how he was, um, he was gonna bury them and save them for his daughter's, uh, you know, for his daughter's fucking like like tr like college fund or something. Okay, yeah, because I have, I haven't seen the second one. I don't yeah, think I mean, I'll ever like see I said, it. It, it, it. It's pretty fucking retarded. All right, and I don't think I'll ever see the second one. I have the the first one on Blu-ray. No. It's a classic. Yeah. It's a lot of good actors are in it. Not you know uh, Dennis Miller, Christopher Walken. I mean, hell, even Jamie Presley's in it. You know. Yeah, I am your sister. I am your sister. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. you're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I love the. I tell you what I, what I thought were really was the star in Joe Dirt was that fucking car he drove in the beginning. Oh yeah, that fucking raggedy ass car where he's like, "This is like a piece of crap to you." Oh, he's like, "You like them spinning tires?" <laughs> right. You suck. You do. <laughs> and the guy fucking goes over and kisses the damn. 
like the the thing that drops down and was like, Did he hurt you, baby? Uh, <laughs> I was like, What the hell? I believe that was um Chris Farley's brother. Yeah, Chris Farley's brother, right. Every now and then you'll yeah. see Chris Farley's brothers in uh, some films. Yeah, he had two of his brothers that was in uh, Joe Dirt. That the, that guy was, was one of his brothers, and um, the one where... Um, John, there's he, John. He, yeah, when he comes up to see, you know, at Christopher Walken's house, and he's like, whoa, hold up there. All right, John. Uh, what's his name? John P. Farley is one of them, and then Kevin Farley is the other. Yeah. You know, and and every every now and then you'll see them like have these small roles in some really good comedies. Um. Hey, on uh, since we're on the lines of comedies and we're talking about Chris Farley. Right. He he made some classic fucking oh like, oh man like Tommy Boy and Black Sheep oh yeah and, those are like his best films those two films yeah you know Tommy <laughs> Boy I think truly was was my favorite like right you know with the, the road trip him and David Spade how they kept fucking that nice car up and right he, even remember he knocked the door off and he and he like he had it like. Got to get go back on, and when David Spade walked out, he just opened the door to fall like, "What did you do?" <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Even the Beverly Hills Ninja was pretty good. Yeah, uh, with, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't really care for Beverly Hills Ninja. Really, I like that one. I actually seen that one at the theaters. Yeah. You know, uh, I liked that. I thought it was pretty good. It had Robin Shu in there, and uh, I thought it was pretty well made but uh, Tommy Boy I would have to say is Chris Farley's number one film yeah that, but that, you, know, I mean, you know Black Sheep was actually pretty funny too like I love the part where David Spade got uh, remember he got like beat up by all those kids and and he's like he's like walking away all covered in shit and you know right. stuff like that he's like saying like oh and next time he's like oh rabbit punch Rabbit punch, sidekick, sidekick <laughs> right. into the pile driver. That's right, my friends. It's a pile driver. <laughs> right. And let's not forget that uh, Chris Farley, in his final film, uh, he pl he was in Dirty Work. Yeah. Which, which hey, is another classic I, funny I film. A, I could have got my nose bit off by a Saigon whore. <laughs> like, yeah. You... Bastard! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He his, his nose was fucked up. Yeah, at the end of the movie, you see him with a fucking new nose. He's like, "Best two hundred and fifty dollars I ever spent." And then he winds up getting with the same chick, and then they hear him like arguing. They're getting the car and driving off. And at one point, right. you hear him yell out, "Ow!" Oh! You bit my new nose off! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> You're really making me mad. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and also, let's not forget, he had a uh, cool part in the film Billy Madison with Adam Sandler. Yeah, he was the bus driver. Right. So the kids were fucking with him. He's like, hey! I'll turn this damn bus around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! That's another funny ass movie. Oh yeah, like Billy Madison. I yeah, I remember when my buddy Angelo, he, we were watching that, and the fucking one part where I think the yeah, clock, the, the clown, clown gets up is like, "Hey, kid, it's me." That uh, I was dead. Yeah, because beforehand something happened to him where he fell and he hit the fucking ground. And yeah, you see blood pouring out of his yeah. head and his mouth. You, 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 he's fucking you, dead. Yeah, you made, it made you think like, whoa, the fucking, they just killed this fucking clown, man. Yeah. And then here he is, he shows up he, later he, on. He's like, hey, kids, it's me. <laughs> I bet you thought that I was dead. Yeah, yeah. But when I fell over, I just had, I just broke my leg and had a contusion in my head. Yeah, that was fucking <laughs> shit was hilarious. Oh, I man. mean, yeah, Billy Madison is one of Adam Sandler's, I think, 
best roles. I mean, obviously, Adam Sandler's Happy uh, Gilmore. yeah, Happy Gilmore is his absolute best movie, in my opinion, of all time. Look, moron, good for Happy Gilmore. Oh my God! <laughs> right, that movie was. I remember when that film came out, and Adam Sandler just fucking blew up. Big and especially, yeah. especially with the movie uh, Big Daddy, that made tremendous amount of money at the box office. And I remember that being really big back in the nineties. You know, yeah. so he did some really what, good what, what films. Was the kid yelling in that movie when they were taking him away, he's like, "I wipe my own ass! I wipe my own ass!" <laughs> <laughs> right. And he was in a lot of good movies like The Water Boy, The Wedding Singer. Uh, the, yeah, The Water Boy was fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Too. Great film. Uh, uh, Mr. D. That's Deeds. what I call high quality H2O. Hell, yeah. And they had uh, The Big Show was in that bitch. Yeah, he's like, how old are you, kid? <laughs> well, 13. He's like, I'm 32 years old. <laughs> yeah, they were laughing at his ass. And, you know, Adam Sessler, or uh, Sandler, um, must be a fan of wrestling, because he was at one of the big, I think, one of the WrestleManias you could see in the on uh, on the Blu-ray. Him yeah. and Rob Schneider were up front. I, I think it was one of the wrestlers. I can't remember which year, but it was well, one of Well, uh, look how many movies he did with wrestlers. Uh, yeah. Did, you know? Well, The Longest Yard, he put a bunch of fucking wrestlers in yeah, that Yeah, he had like Goldberg, Stone Cold, right. Steve Austin, Kevin, Kevin Nash. Nash. Right. Fucking The Great Khali. You, oh, yeah. The Great Khali was in that bitch. Yeah, he had a lot of wrestlers in that bitch. I, I love the part with Khali where, where they, they threw the guy the ball into the guy's nuts. He's like, uh, he was like, oh, my ball. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, that movie was really good, The Longest Yard. And I really liked uh, Anger Management. I liked Fifty First Dates. I hate, I actually hated Anger Management. Really? Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. And then I, I, I mean, I'm sure it was funny, but I just didn't like it. Like, I didn't like the fact that, like, you know, everybody was just like, "No, we want you to do what we want you to do. We want you to do what we want you to do. You can't do what you want to do. Right? What you're doing is bad. You, you got to do what we want you to do." Right. But then for years, I noticed that he wasn't really doing any really good films up until he yeah, did that. Because he, because he made all that fucking money from, um, you know, like Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison and all that. He's like, fuck it, man. I got millions of dollars. I'm going to take a break for a while. Right. I mean, enjoy, right. Enjoy, he, enjoy life. Well, he's done a lot of good movies, but a lot of them have been kind of miss. You know, like, uh, I didn't care for the Grown Ups films. I just yeah, I, I never watched the grown up. I mean, I, mean, I watched bits and pieces of right. of the grown ups, but it just right. I it don't was know. good casting, but it just to, to me, it wasn't funny or nothing. But then no. uh, last year, he came out with this. Everybody saying it was phenomenal film was Uncut Gems, which I need to see. I haven't seen it yet, and yeah. uh, everybody was saying, "Yeah, that is fucking great film." You know, it's like a more serious, you know, movie. Cool. Yeah. You know, Another movie that he did, I actually liked. I know I don't think a lot of other people really liked it, but uh, I like that movie he did called Click. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, he had his funny moments, like when he right. paused time and he was like slapping David Hasselhoff in the face, and then came up and like farted in his face, and the guy like, "I'm gonna put shit in myself." Right, right. <laughs> That was a good one. Um, I like Funny People with, uh, let's see, Seth Rogen. Yeah. You know, Jonah Hill was in it as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, Jonah Hill is fucking great, dude. What about Funny? What about one of the stupidest movies of all time that we saw years ago called Funny Games? No, I hate that fucking movie, dude. Yeah, that movie. Oh, my God. Like, you know what's weird though? I remember watching it. it. It was a good fucking movie up until they did something so fucking stupid. Yeah, they rewound the kid. Like, rewound like one, everything. one of the bad guys gets killed, and the other guy runs and grabs a remote and hits the button on it, and re and it actually rewinds fucking time. Yeah, it, it was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, at, at that point, I'm like. 
it really went from being good to being really shitty. Yeah, like, it's just like it was a normal film up until then, and then that part happened. You're like, what? You know? And then yeah, for it's, that, it's like any time the good guys had a chance to like, you know, fight back or get away or this or that. It was like. No, no, no. Like, they made it plain obvious that they were not going to let the fucking good guys when. make it through this. Yeah, thing. and then they just end up dropping them off into the water, you know? No, yeah, the, 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 um, the last w- remaining woman, they they had her all tied up, and they're sitting on a boat with her, and they get they reach a point, and just like, and the guy just looks down at his watch and goes, yep, it's about that time, and it just knocks the chick out of the boat and into the water. Yeah, right. you're just like, what the fuck, man? And then, they, like, yeah, then they go to, like, a, a house that was, like, across the lake to basically pull the same shit. Like, they're right. just, like, two are just going around killing people. Yeah, and that's a movie called Funny Games. Yeah. Uh, who who all stars in that film? I want to say that the one main actress in it was Ni- Naomi Watts, I do believe. Who was the husband? And- I forgot his name. I, I, I don't remember. Uh, I know the... Like, I only really remember a couple people from it. I know the main actress and one of the uh, bad guys was uh, Michael Pitt. Uh, well, Michael Pitt is a great actor. Yeah, he was in... Uh, he was in Bo- a Bully and Murder by Numbers. And, and probably some other movies, but I just don't remember. Okay, so the father of that film was the star of uh, Reservoir Dogs and uh, Tim Roth. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Tim okay. Roth, yeah, Reservoir Dogs, and, uh, you know, th- that's where Quentin Tarantino, he don't puts him in, you know, quite a few movies. Um, yeah. Good actor, and also I wanted to mention a movie that Adam S- uh, Sandler was in, uh, Airheads, which was really good film. Yes, Airheads was funny as fuck. You know what? Chris Farley was in that film as well. He played a fucking cop. Right? Okay. That's, I yeah, forgot about that. I haven't, I haven't seen that movie in years. Yeah, it's been a very long time. Yeah, he plays an officer. Oh, that's right. Ernie Hudson's in that as well. Yeah. Well, what was, uh, there was one scene where the guy, uh, what was that one guy? He, he was in Ghostbusters. He was the guy with glasses, and he's, like, trying to, like, talk to them, and he's, like, trying to say, like, hey, we got exactly what you want. Come with us right now, blah, blah, blah. And they, they, asked, him a, they asked him a question, like, um, who would you root for in a fight, Lim, Lemmy or God? And he's like, Lemmy. He's like, ah, God. He's like, no, it's a, it's a trick question, asshole. Lemmy is God. And they, like, <laughs> they shut the door on him. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, Airheads is a like, really good film. I believe I had that on DVD. Yeah, that is. You remember at the they got like at the end they're like they're they're like um, playing in front of a bunch of like uh, prisoners, and Steve Buscemi does a part where he's like you know thinks that there's maybe women he's doing like the gyrating of his head and has that way, but hey, what are you doing? And he looks out, he just sees nothing but. But prison is basically like, oh shit, okay, I should be doing that. <laughs> yeah, right. Speaking of Steve Buscemi, Adam Sandler put Steve Buscemi in a lot of his films. Yeah, and he always gave him, like, remember that, like, small roles, like in uh, Mr. Deeds, he had him, like, as that one character that had, like, one eye that went, like, all the way to, like, to the right. <laughs> right, like, right. Yeah, at the end he pulls up in a fucking Corvette. Like these things are fast, man. And he takes off and yeah. he bashes on his foot. It's like, dude, what the fuck, dude? You give this fucking guy a brand new Corvette? Oh, we well, should just gave it to me. Yeah, if you're gonna fucking crash it like that, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but let, let's not forget. Um, uh, the Adam Adam did a film called Little Nicky. Little Nicky, yes, yeah. that movie is one of probably my all-time favorites. Yeah, like, it's pretty good. Good casting. Yeah, it had uh, like I said, it had Patricia Arquette, it had um Harvey Keitel. 
Barbecue, yeah, they have. It, Even, um, Tiny, Lester, <laughs> Jr. Yeah. Zeus. Yeah. Yeah, hell, it had even fucking Rodney Dangerfield was yeah, in that, that bitch. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, Rodney Dangerfield, yeah. And, and uh, hey. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. Oh, man. They even had fucking uh, Carl Weathers, who was um, playing his role from uh, Adam, from um, Happy Gilmore. Right, right. Dana Carvey. Yeah. Dana Carvey was in that bitch, too. Shit. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while, you know. The way the guy, my, my favorite was the talking dog in that movie. That uh, when they're, they're they're sitting there and they're like, "Hey, this cake t- tastes kind of funny." Like, yeah, because we we uh we poured a big fat sack of reefer in. The, and he's like, "What's reefer?" And the dog's like, uh, "About five hundred bucks an ounce." Uh, <laughs> and the film had a lot of cameos. I forgot Quentin Tarantino had a cameo in there. Uh, um, yeah. He played uh, like a, uh, a, I think it was like a blind preacher or something, de- the oh, deacon. Oh, yeah. Now I remember that. I remember when he came to like, you, you are, you are smelled of pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> right? Even Carl Weathers was in there playing his character yeah, from Happy right. Gilmore. The, I, I, I just said that, bro. Well, oh, right, right. But also, because um, I'm looking through the names, um, I love Ozzy Osbourne's part in that film. Yeah, he bites yeah. uh, bite the head off a bat. Right, right. <laughs> and it's funny how he came up and the two guys were like, Ozzy? And they fucking pass out, you know, because yeah. they, they think Ozzy's <laughs> like a god, you know. Those guys were fucking hilarious. Yeah. I love at the end of the movie they're saying, like, they're sh- like saying what ha- winds up happening is that they... They got a bunch of money and they bought a plane and they filled it with food and weed and beer and he's like, the one thing they forgot to put in there was a pilot and they said they crashed shortly after takeoff and it shows them like in, in a room in hell partying up like they like they did in the in the actual world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good movie. A lot of. A lot of uh, good actors in that fucking movie. They even brought back uh, old Fonzie. Yes, they did. Yeah, it's like, oh, he's like, you want to do something evil? Uh, cover Henry Winkler with bees again. He's like, oh, mm. it's like, just do it. <laughs> yeah, Rob Schneider was in that. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> you know, he did that in a lot of his movies. You have <laughs> Rob right. Schneider always do, do that. You can do it. And didn't uh, Rob Schneider do a movie where he got Adam Sandler to cameo in that movie to do that? You can do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure <laughs> that's did. funny how that works, ain't it? Yeah, I, I love that stuff. I mean, that's pretty fucking great. I mean, Rob Schneider's been in a lot of good films. I, he, he worked with uh, Van Damme in the movie Knock Off, which I did see at the theaters. Yeah, um, not- yeah, I remember we we seen that at the theater. Yeah, we seen it. Yeah, we, you don't remember that? Well, I don't remember who I seen it with. I I just remember seeing it at the theaters. Yeah. I remember, I remember me, me and you seen Knock Off, and then we also I think we also seen Double Team. Okay, yeah, yeah, both the good movies. Um, I really, as far as Rob Schneider goes, he did a lot of good films. I really like Deuce Bigelow, Arapine Gigolo. Yeah, uh, there's some I scenes in there like that the were European fucking hilarious. Gigolo. I like the you know the, the regular male Gigolo movie. The first one, but yeah, I like the second European one better. Gigolo. And I didn't like it because you know they they had the chick with the fucking dick on her face and right. It's like. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, but he was just, I mean, the, another good one with Rob Schneider was uh, the Batch Warmers. I really like that film. Yeah, the Pinch Way. Hey, another David Spade movie too, bro. Oh yeah, David Spade was in it. Um, let's love, see, John Heater. The part in the video story is like, hey, I'm going home. He's like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah. He's like, bros before hoes, dude. He's like. Fuck you. <laughs> right. Right. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, good movie. Hell yeah. I need to, uh, 
I wonder if they have that on Blu-ray because I'd like to pick up the bench warmers. I don't know. I mean, I know I, I, I had it once on DVD, but I don't even know what happened to it. Yeah, I like that film. That was uh, pretty good, man. The, yeah, it, you know what? This is fun. This was fun um, going over all the comedy films tonight, mostly. Yeah. This was kick ass, but we're gonna have to wrap this one up because I know you got to get up early in the morning, and yeah. I got some running to do early in the morning. So I wanna, I kind of wrap this one up, but I wanna talk about more comedies again in the future because yeah. this was pretty good. We went over a lot of like some of the best comedies of all yeah, time. And, and, and you know what? We didn't even scratch the surface. Oh yeah, uh, we didn't even right. We 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 just barely scratched the surface because. There's a lot more out there that are really good yeah. um, from hey, our timeline. Anybody out there in the YouTube land watching this video, if you have any kind of any comedy movies that you would like us to talk about, leave, leave it in the comments below. Yeah, shoot us down in the comments below. We'll definitely uh, go over that stuff. Um, because, yeah, the, some, some of those, one that we didn't get into, which we will next time, is the Hot Tub Time Machine. Yeah, that oh, one was man. really good. I really liked that one. And yeah. then another one we could also get into next time that I kind of uh, forgot about. One of my good old favorite comedies of years ago was uh, The Great Outdoors. Oh yeah, with uh, John Candy. John Candy. That's yeah, another thing we never we never got into John Candy because he did some f like Uncle Buck, planes, trains, automobiles. I mean, those yeah. are some of the oh, fucking man. best hey, comedies. You know what, though? Hey. We got, we got some good shit for, for next time. Yeah, next time we're definitely going to start off with probably John Candy because we, yeah. we I, he's he's a fantastic comedy actor and he can play serious roles as well because at the end of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles you could, you could see this that serious part that uh, yeah, he had. Yeah, he was talking about his, uh, his wife. Like, you know, my wife. My wife died years ago. Right. He's like, I don't have a home. Right, and here you are, it's weird because you're taking on this comedy and then here this fucking serious part is at the end of it, you're like, whoa, holy shit. Yeah, you know? really is not just a, a complete C comedy, right. fucking goof, you know? Yeah, right, I mean, it's not, you know, it's just like, wow, you, you took us one way and then you hit us this other way, which I thought was genius, and that's a great director. Yeah. By the way, who did, I also believe the... Uh, Home Alone films, uh, which yeah, some other some more other comedy movies we never got into. Right, we'll get into those next time. Also, yeah, because I did see uh, the first Home Alone. I've seen both Home Alones at the theaters when I was a kid. Yeah, I've seen the i seen one and two. I know they made like a three and a four. Yeah, I didn't get into they, those. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I didn't I didn't get into those. I didn't watch those. If it doesn't have the original cast, I, I really don't care yeah. for that type I mean, of shit. I mean, not even the original cast. Have have the original fucking kid. You know, Macaulay Culkin in the first two right. was great. Right. And they went and they went three. They went with some other kid. I was like, right. yeah, I'm not. I'm not interested. Sorry. Right. You know, without Joe Pesci and uh, uh, you know Macaulay Culkin, it's just like no, Daniel no. Stern. Dan, right. But anyways, yeah, that will probably be next time we'll get into John Candy films, which he was also in the first Home Alone movie. Yeah. You know, but it, I mean, you know what? If I if I didn't have to get up and go to work in the morning, I, we we could stay up all right. night. We, we'd have a fucking five six hour. <laughs> I don't know about that long. Whoa, 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 bro! Six dang. hours? Fuck that! <laughs> well, well, I'm saying. I mean, we. Can, I mean, I'm not saying exactly six well, hours. Yeah, I'm, I saying, I'm just giving a thing that we, you know, it, this could carry on for at least another hour. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll definitely probably do a longer one next time for sure because I do want to get into, like I said, the you know John Candy's films, uh, the Home Alone films. Um, yeah. All that stuff. We're gonna, you know, continue on the comedy stuff because you know some of those oh, yeah. are the, the greatest Another comedy guy films of all time. Talk about that was a great comedian is uh, Bill Murray. Right, uh, Stripes. Yep. Yeah. Scrooge. Right. Yeah, he was in some good ones. You know. You know. But yeah. The Zombie Land. The Zombie Land movies. Yeah, I love the Zombie Land. Well, I haven't seen the second one, but I have seen the first the one. Second one is pretty cool, dude. I, I picked up and watched it. Hell yeah! It, 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 it's pretty bad. It's not as 
great as the first one, but right. it, it holds up there pretty well, in, in my view. But anyways, yeah, we'll save that all for next time. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and call it now. I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast of us talking about some of the best comedy films of our generation that are just yeah, like said, fantastic. If, if anybody out there has got any other comedy movies that we didn't mention or right. this and that, let us know hey, in the comments below. Let us know, y'all. We, you know, we'll, we'll, and we'll talk get, about whatever. Yeah, we'll talk about that because I it, think, yeah, it, we're going to continue it, on the comedy yeah. thing next time as well, you know, obviously. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we'll we'll talk about it if we've seen it. If it if it's if it's something that neither me or or you have seen and right, then we really can't talk about it. Right. So, well, we we pretty much seen you know most of the films. I mean, some of them we haven't, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's a lot of movies we haven't seen. I mean, yeah, I I, I could say I've watched thousands and thousands of movies, but there is probably thousands and thousands out there. I have not seen. Right. Right. So, okay. So, on that note, people, we're going to wrap it up. And, uh... Right, it's a great evening, and, uh, we'll catch y'all next time on the next podcast. <laughs> That's right. Until next time, people, peace out. Later. Bye.